What's up guys, welcome back to a new video on the training series. Now last week we went through a pull workout with the back and biceps, and now today we're gonna to be going through a push workout, so we'll be going through our chest, our shoulders, and triceps. This is day one of my current program, and I took you through last week, uh, day two of the program. So we're doing week two now of this, so like I said in the last video, we need to go through some sort of progression and some sort of progressive overload. So there are already things I've already prescribed for myself um, that's going to have a little bit more than last week. Some other things are going to stay the same as last week, but over time we're going to keep progressing. So some of the things, as an example, today you can see some uh, uneven reps, and that would be because I'm trying to implement progressive overload. So you, know, you might see things of like reps of 13, whereas last week reps of 12. So, now, or if it's going to be the same and I felt okay, for me I'm going to try and increase the weight. So that's the progressive overload approach that we're going to be looking for. Um, and I write that down in my program in here, so I've got it on the iPad, so it's a bit easier to see. And then once I have whatever weight I'm lifting, I'll write it down on my program. That way then I know for next week what I lifted, how it felt, and then if I can progress from that or not. So that's what we're going to do today. And uh, any words, Steve? Let's talk about tips, because I love my tips. And we're going to talk about foot positioning. So foot positioning is going to play an important role in these ones, especially with this one here and also your incline barbell press, is that your feet want to be a little bit further away. And if you can think about trying to push the floor away in front of you, it's going to give you a lot more leg drive, it's going to give you a lot more power into your presses. So, Steve, you want to show them about the, the feet, the foot positioning? This next one. Next exercise we're going to be doing is overhead press and we're supersetting with the incline hammer strength machine. Now with these ones here I've got 4 sets of 12 of both and I've added a small bit of progressive overload in both of these by adding a little bit of weight from week 1. With the coaching cue for your overhead press, you want to be as close as you can just outside your shoulders, uh, that way it will give you a good stable base. If you do lack the mobility, then go as close as your body will allow you to. So um, anything that's too wide is going to impact your lift, especially with a compound move. So try and keep it just outside the shoulders, providing that your, your mobility will allow you to. Last week's training video, I noticed that this little creep was in there in nearly every single clip watching and staring at me. So if someone can count how many times that she comes into these clips on this training video, I'll give him a shout out in the next training video. Look at the little creep, creep staring at me. Huh? Hey? Small baby weight can make all the difference though for your progressive overload. So I want to the next exercise. We're going to be doing a dumbbell chest flies with cable tricep extensions. So these ones here are implementing progressive overload in a different way. We're going to be adding an extra rep for both of these exercises. So my dumbbell flies will be four sets of 11. Last week was four sets of 10. The cable tricep extensions will be four sets of 13. Last week it was 12. So uh, another side note is that you don't need to add progressive overload every single week. As long as you're providing some sort of over overload over time, that's how you're going to be implementing progressive overload. But it doesn't have to be every single week. So these ones here, at the bottom of the movement, you want to be able to try and stretch your pecs. So again, a really big stretch, and it's like you're hugging a big tree. And then as you come up to the top, you're trying to contract your chest from here in the shortest position, 
trying to really squeeze the chest. Now don't bring the dumbbells together. I'd say leave about this much of a gap in between and really contract the chest. You're gonna be able to contract your chest a lot more with your arms straight than you were with your arms bent. So if you try that, try that at home, keeping your arms in a bent position, squeezing your chest, as opposed to getting your arms straight and squeezing your chest, you feel a greater contraction with your arms straighter. Another coaching tip with the cable tricep extensions, don't round your shoulders, don't round your back. Because if you start putting around your back and putting your shoulders forward, you're gonna be using your shoulders as opposed to using the triceps. Whew. Keep your shoulders out, keep your chest up, and hinge just from the elbow. That way then you put all the weight in the target area, as opposed to here, trying to push down with your shoulders. Okay, so final superset. We've got dumbbell side raises, superset of that with cable overhead tricep extensions. That's a mouthful. All right, so before we start into this one, I'm gonna give you a quick coaching tip on the dumbbell side raises, so I'm gonna get something nice and light. Now, at the top of the movement, with the dumbbell, Steve, you wanna shoot it onto the top of, on the dumbbell, you wanna try and tip it forward like this at the top. In terms of gravity, it's gonna hit your lateral head. So from here, try to turn it, and you're gonna feel the gravity trying to drag you down. So another way, a coaching kit tip that I give with my clients is that if you can imagine that this is gonna be a jug of water, and at the top, you're just trying to pour it out like that. That's the coaching tip that I want you guys to start thinking about. That was a grinder session. Whew. That's gonna to conclude today's video. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you got something out of it, and I hope you kind of learn as you watch. So uh, let me know what you thought of it. Um, if you'd like to see more of this as well, hit the thumbs up button down below. Kind of tells me you know, where I need to direct these educational videos uh, towards what you're actually wanting. So hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't hit subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next few days with a new vlog and uh, I'll see you then. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.